Hey guys, it's Pervious1030 with Tin Can Gardener. I just wanted to do a little bit of an update on my garden. Um, so far, everything's looking pretty good. However, my, I have a casualty bean over there. Because my children were playing soccer. This is why you should fence your gardens in. My kids were playing soccer and clipped one of my bean plants, but that's okay. Got new growth coming in right there. I'll make it work. Uh... I haven't gotten any beans yet, but these guys are just growing ridiculously. I mean, I seriously just cannot keep them bound up like that. So I gotta keep running them back down and stuff. So eggplant's doing all right. Tomato seems to be doing okay. I have no type. I have no idea what type that is. So whatever, it might be a uh, might be a carbon. I don't know. These are soybeans. They look like they're doing all right. Or fava's not soy, fava beans. Onions are doing good that I separated. Here's some celery that I, uh, I actually we ate it once, but this is new celery. We just planted some more celery. After you eat it, just put it in the ground. It'll start growing. Cool stuff. All my weeds. Okay, radishes coming up nicely. And I gotta water that stuff. It was supposed to rain today is what I was counting on, but I guess I shouldn't do that sometimes, huh? So, yeah. Gonna have to water them bad boys. Carrots seem to be doing alright. Eggplant's doing fine. I lost that radish. I was gonna seed it, but I guess that didn't happen. So now it's mulch. Flowers are doing alright come over here to my other area and what I did over here pretty simple look at all the little lizards run <clears throat> over here I took this tomato plant and I just stuck it in the bucket and in the bucket it's got water and nutrients and all that good stuff so these guys are just growing right along a little bit of sage you know nothing huge but then I got this eggplant right here which needs to be pollinized so I just take a female flower or a male flower and these ones with the spikes on the back those are the female flowers those are the ones that are going to produce the fruit which I already got one coming on here and one coming on there look how cool that is I made sure those got pollinated so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just pollinating all these fruits trying to get as much fruit off of this thing as possible. It's a pretty big bush. So hopefully it works out. And you do this, if the bees can't get it all done, which they can't, you know, bees can't do it all. Sometimes humans gotta step in there and do their darndest to try to, ah, oh, check it out. So, these little beetles right here, let me see, yeah. Let me see if I can. These little dudes right here, little beetles right there, you want to kill those because they are the ones that are going to be tearing up your plants. Oh, yep, there's another one. Yeah, it looks like I'm about to spray this bad boy down because they are all over it. Not that as bad as I thought it'd be, but still a little concerning. Um, there's my flower. Pick that back up, get her going again. Um, I try to get all these pollinated, and and I'll grab a few different uh, male flowers to do this with because, well, I find more than one for pollination, and they usually sit right beside each other. So, I mean, it's pretty cool how this gets done. I just go on and Hopefully, we'll have a bunch of eggplants at the end of this. Hopefully, in theory, it'd be nice. And this big guy over here, look at the size of this thing. I'm gonna make a walloping eggplant. All right. Okay, my corn's doing well. It needs watered. I'll probably water all this this afternoon. Beans are doing good. I think these are contenders. They seem to be doing, living up to their name. Um, got a few flowers in here. You know, it's important to have flowers in the mix because 
they bring in the pollinators and things like that. My corn's a little bit close together, but I don't care. I want to ensure good pollination, and these eggplants are going to be awesome. So, woohoo on that! All right, so there's that garden. All right, now it is spring, guys. So, you guys should, up north should be getting your seeds already started indoors or getting ready to sow them outdoors. You'd probably be getting in some uh, lettuce and some uh, some uh, radishes and things of that nature because, well, that that's pretty much what's in season right now. And hopefully, I got, yeah, I might have one eggplant, maybe. Maybe one, we'll see, maybe a couple. Hopefully. I don't exactly know how all this is going to turn out. But, like I said, who knows, maybe I'll have a bunch of eggplants I won't know what to do with them all. That would be great. But, like I said, it's all proofs in the pudding. So hopefully I get all these pollinated well enough and my pollinating bees help and that'll work out with enough female or male flowers. Here's my other beans, my purple ones. A uh, little FYI about beans, the more you pick them, the more they'll grow. In case you guys didn't know that, look at that thing, man. The thing's got flowers all over it, so does that one. This one's doing the same thing, so this is good. Got something munching on them, but I can take care of that. These are uh, probably either purple potted pole or possibly even purple teepee or purple... Uh, uh, purple, royal purple bush, maybe, we'll see. These are cuttings from the Brandywine tomatoes. I took all these cuttings, I'm going to pull all these weeds back, but all these cuttings are ones that I took and am currently trying to get going. It's not easy, folks. It's not always easy. Some live, some die. Here's the pepper plants. These are all, uh... Um, actually these are all, uh, Lord help me, these are bell, there we go, bell peppers. So I might sporadically spread these out, compost pile, potatoes are doing good. I got a pepper and a tomato plant coming up off of this thing. I seem to be having new blooms. So I put this out here, it wasn't faring too well in direct sun, so... And this is more of a smaller variety. This is like, I'm thinking this is like a crossbreed, which that does happen. Um, between maybe a larger tomato and a cherry tomato. But you see how these flowers coming on like this? So either it's a vining type tomato. I won't know until that fully matures and gives me a color. That's what happens whenever you have all different varieties of tomatoes. It's definitely a vining type, not a bush type, so we'll see what I come out with. I know one thing, whatever it is, it's going to taste good. So, that's what I got going on in the garden, guys. And, like I said, it's spring, so all of my northern people, you guys should be getting your pots and land and all that mess ready so you guys can do your thing so i'm down here in south florida so it's pretty much gardening time right now uh after this it's gonna probably be way too hot to garden you can only garden certain stuff so all right guys that's what i got going on in the south florida garden until next time and this is Pervious1030 with the Tin Can Gardener. Y'all have a good day now.